Welcome to this Advent Computer's Guide to using your Advent PC to edit your home videos. It'll show you how easy it is to take all that raw video you've shot and turn it into a professionally edited movie complete with transitions and other special effects. Better still, you don't need to pay a single penny for basic movie editing capabilities. In this guide we're using the free Windows Live Movie Maker tool, which comes pre-installed on all new Advent PCs and can be downloaded separately from essentials.live.com if you don't already have it. Over the next few minutes we'll show you how to import your video into the program, edit it, add special effects and finally share it with others, whether via the internet or by burning a video DVD. First, open Windows Live Movie Maker by clicking the Start button and browsing the All Programs menu. Once launched you can import video into the program one of three ways. The easiest is to add files that you've previously transferred from your camera or camcorder to your computer's hard disk. To do this, click the Add Videos or Photos button to get started. Browse the folder containing your video footage. This is typically your videos library or folder. If you need to import more than one video file, hold the control key as you click on each video you wish to import. Once highlighted, click Open and the video will be transferred across to Windows Live Movie Maker. If you have a digital camcorder connected to your computer via USB, you can transfer video directly from that too. Click the File tab on the ribbon, choose Import from Device and follow the prompts. Finally, you can also record video directly from your webcam if you wish. Click the Webcam Video button and if prompted select your microphone, internal mic if you don't have one to plug in, and webcam. Click OK and wait for the camera to display its picture. Click the Record button to start then film yourself before clicking stop to finish. Save the raw footage to your hard drive and Windows Live Movie Maker will automatically import it as a clip into your movie. You can keep adding clips to your movie at any time and mix and match clips from a variety of different sources. As they're added to your movie, the clips will be shown in the order they'll play in the timeline on the right of the Windows Live Movie Maker window. If all your footage is the same aspect ratio, either widescreen or standard, then you can jump to the next step. If you've imported a mixture of footage that's both widescreen and standard, switch to the Project tab and choose the aspect ratio for your entire movie by clicking the appropriate button. Once you've set the aspect ratio, return to the Home tab and check the running order of your movie. If you want to rearrange the clips in a different order, just click and hold the mouse on one video clip then drag it to its new position in the time frame before letting go of the mouse button. If you've not already done so, now's a good time to switch to the File tab and choose Save Project. Give it a suitable name and click Save. As you make further changes to your movie, don't forget to press Ctrl and S at regular intervals to save your updated film. With your clips now arranged correctly, it's time to trim the rough edges from each clip's beginning and end. Start by selecting the first clip from the timeline window and use the playback controls on the left to preview it. Now select the point at which you want the clip to start by using the playback controls in the preview window or the time marker in the timeline window to position it at its starting point. Once done, right click the clip on the timeline window and choose set start point. Everything to the left of the marker will now be removed from the beginning of the clip. Note that this doesn't do anything to your original movie file, it only affects the clip in Windows Live Movie Maker. If you make a mistake, you can click the Undo button above the Home tab or press Ctrl and Z to start again. Now use the Time Marker or Playback controls again to select the point at which you want the clip to end. Right click again, but this time choose Set End Point to finish trimming the clip. You can also split long clips into shorter ones, allowing you to trim each individually. To do this, choose a rough point in your clip where you'd like the break to occur, then right-click the clip and choose Split to divide it into two separate clips. Again, remember that the original video file is left untouched. Only the footage in Windows Live Movie Maker is edited. Armed with these tools, continue editing the rest of your movie until all the clips have been arranged and trimmed to your satisfaction. Your edited video is now technically finished, but as things stand, it lacks a little polish. Thankfully, Windows Live Movie Maker features a number of tools to help give it a more professional look. Start by making the transition between clips easier on the eye by using an effect such as a fade or a wipe. While you can mix and match transitions effects, it's best to stick to a single one throughout your entire movie for a consistent look. To do this, 
Press Ctrl and A to select all of your clips in the timeline window, then switch to the Animations tab on the ribbon to reveal the Transitions box. Click the down arrow next to the Transitions box to reveal all available transitions. Roll your mouse over a transition to get a preview of how that transition effect will look in the preview window. Use the vertical scroll bar to the right of the effects to reveal more transitions. When you've found one you like, click it to select it. Next, switch back to the Home tab and click Title. This will place a title slide at the beginning of your movie. Type in the name of your movie, then use the formatted controls to change the font, style and background colour. To inject some pizzazz into it, use the Effects section to choose a transition effect for the text from the drop-down menu. Once done, switch back to the Home tab and click Credits to add a credit sequence at the end of your movie. Click the drop-down arrow next to Credits to choose extra credit slides including Director, Star and Location. You can add as many as you need. If your movie is silent or has no dialogue, add a background music track by switching to the Home tab and clicking the Add Music button. Browse your music folder for a suitable track to play over your movie. You should see it appear in a green strip above the video in your timeline. It's unlikely the music track length fits the length of your movie exactly, so switch to the Options tab under Music Tools on the ribbon and set the Fade Out drop-down menu to Slow, Medium or Fast to fade the music as the video comes to an end. Now play your movie from beginning to end. If your movie has its own soundtrack in addition to a music track, you may find the balance between the two isn't quite right. You can resolve this by altering the mix so that one is louder than the other. To do this, switch to the Project tab, click the Audio Mix button on the left and adjust the slider right to give the music soundtrack more volume, or left to make the original soundtrack more prominent. Once your movie is finished, save it one last time. You can now publish it to the internet or burn it to a video DVD to share with others using options on the Home tab. If uploading to a web service like YouTube, Facebook or SkyDrive, click the relevant button in the Share section of the ribbon. When prompted, choose the movie resolution. Next, sign into your account and follow the instructions to upload your movie to the internet. To burn the movie to a DVD disc playable on any DVD or Blu-ray player, Click the Save Movie button and then choose Burn DVD from the drop-down menu. Choose a file name and wait while a copy of your movie is saved to your hard drive. Once complete, that movie will be automatically loaded into Windows DVD Maker. Click Next to tweak your DVD's menu options and to preview the movie. When you're happy, insert a blank DVD and click Burn to burn your movie to disk.